No. Ugh, what is it? No. No. Century egg. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, I would have poisoned myself. Oh my god. Wow. Seven second riddles, why you do this to me? Seven second riddles has finally come for me. We did it guys. We, us, we achieved this. In my video where I answered riddles that were meant for gloom, I called out seven second riddles and asked them to make a video. No, demanded that they make me a video. And then you guys went over there and demanded it. And here it is. Will Lauren Z side make the right choice? Hard choice riddles that drove me mad. Well, joke's on you, seven second riddles. I'm already mad. Crazy mad because I once again have had too much coffee before filming this video, but it makes it so much more fun. So here we go. Will I, Lauren Z side, the great Lauren Z side that they have referenced in this video, make the right choice? Probably not. Probably not. But first I want you guys to make the right choice by liking this video. Do it now. It's been five weeks since my birthday. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not even July anymore and I'm just gonna keep going with this. You don't have a choice. Also comments. Com comments down below. Comments. Just in general comments. And here we go. Ron is walking out of the supermarket. Suddenly a man with a gun appears on the street. Oh no, Ron. Several police officers follow him. This is escalating. Ron, why are you just standing in there just run away they start to fire at each other ron leave ron looks around and sees three possible places to hide oh well, i have to try and save ron's life where should he hide um uh i guess the flower pot the flower pot is the only thing that looks kind of metal and then maybe it would like ricochet off that. The dumpster, definitely not, because it's plastic, it would go right through. The tree would be a good option, but I don't think it's fat enough for Ron. Not to say that Ron is fat, he just a little bit curvy, and there's nothing wrong with that. But flower pot seems, seems, uh, this tree is too narrow to cover Ron. See, even seven second riddle said he curvy. The dumpster is too thin, a bullet could easily go through. It's solid enough to protect Ron from bullets. Yay, we survived, I made the right choice. Ooh. You accidentally got into a magical kingdom. <gasps> wow. Where everybody who was born there can use magic. Once there, you were challenged to a duel. Oh, oh, don't you dare. Who just did that? The baby? You can choose one weapon. The most powerful wand that cannot be defeated in battle. Why would I not just, yeah. The sword of the wizard king that enforces every spell a hundred times. A pistol that turns bullets it's into fireballs. A magical shield that will protect you from any spell. I'm pretty sure I should just use the wand because it literally said it cannot be defeated in any battle. <laughs> Kinda like it gave me the answer. The shield can protect against any spell, but then what if the wizard decides to like combat you physically after that? <laughs> and the sword and the pistol? No. Just no. We in a magical world, okay? We gotta fight with magical items. Wand. It, it's the freaking wand. What? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That was a good one, seven second riddles. You got me, you got me. I made the wrong decision. That was genius. The evil queen decided to get rid of her daughter-in-law. She decided to poison the apples. Why didn't she put? Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't she poison all of them? Why? That the princess was about to have for breakfast. She eats three apples every day? But the amount of poison turned out to be only sufficient for two apples. Ah. Oh, I like these, these poison effects from the bottom. Which apple is safe? Well, seven second riddles, you got lazy with this one. It's the one with the worm coming out of it, because the worm would be dead if it was an apple that had poison in it. The worm is alive, so it must be safe. You're locked in a room. Ooh, with a cheeseburger though. I mean, I'll do it. With some food and a bucket. There are four doors leading to freedom. Your kidnapper doesn't keep an eye on you, as there is grave danger behind each of them. But you know exactly that one 
one of the doors is safe. A 20 foot wall of fire. A giant octopus. Seven second riddles is really stepping up their animation game. Well done. A bowler bear with her cub. Oh, oh, oh no. Pool full of crocodiles. Okay. So hear me out. Kind of want to go in the polar bear one because I want to pet the little one, <laughs> the little cub polar bear. I want to pet it really bad. So I will use the, ch oh wait, I have a bucket too. Oh no, well there's two scenarios then. Scenario one, I go to the polar bear door and I throw the burger so that the mama bear goes, I pet the little cub and then I run away. Scenario number two, I go to the crocodile one and I take the bucket of water and then I go to the fire one and I throw the bucket of water onto the fire. We take the bucket of water, put out the fire, take the burger, throw it, pat the polar bear cub that's adorable, and then run out the fire door that we put out. Two, two options. It's gotta be one of those two. If it's not, I swear. 150 IQ right here. I got this. Distract the crocodiles with the food you have and use your bucket to fight the fire. No polar bear pets? No polar bear pets. Okay, I was I was half right. I'll get I'm gonna give that one to myself because it was my birthday five weeks ago. I deserve it. Is this safe to eat? What is this? What am I looking at? What is this? This is a whole new type of riddle. Ugh. No, I don't. What am I looking at? It looks like brains. I see a blade of grass. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say yes. Because I feel like they're trying to throw me off. I'm gonna say yes. Moral. Oh, fun edible fungi. Yay. Is this safe to eat? Uh -huh. Of course it is. It looks delicious. I want it right now, actually. I'm really sad now. I don't have cinnamon buns in my house. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, I would have poisoned myself. Oh, I see the game now. I see the game now. Seven second riddles. That's... I like this one. My video is an amazing video so far. Is this safe to eat? I'm gonna say no, cause it looks like corn that went bad. Corn smut. Ugh. No. Ugh. What is it? No. No. Alien eggs. No. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Century egg. Ugh. <laughs> Is this safe to eat? It looks like it is, but I'm gonna say no. I'm pretty sure I've seen these around and you're not supposed to eat them. English you, a tree not edible. Good to know. Kind of looks like cranberries. I'm gonna say yes. Wait, they might not be cranberries. I'm gonna say yes anyway. <gasps> oh no, I would have died. Yes? Are they oranges? Mangoes? No, mangoes are green. It's used to make poison. Oh, I would be dead. <laughs> Yay, me and my decision making. Thirsty, hungry, and broken. You're driving a car at night. Wait a minute. You're thirsty, you're hungry, and you're broken inside. <laughs> okay. Suddenly, three doors appear on the side of the road. Hmm. This isn't suspicious at all. Drinking water, lots of food, money. Ooh. Wait, I don't have enough context though to answer this question. Which door will you open first? Wait. <laughs> So can I get all the doors? What, what does it matter if I open one first? You can die of dehydration before hunger. So technically, he should probably go for the water first. The money you don't really need right now, if you can get it later. Because it says which door will you open, not open first. But also, some of the food can have water within it. Like, you know, watermelon or water-based foods. So I don't know. I'm going to go with water, I guess. Water is more of like an immediate need out of all these things. Answer. You're Oh my god. Seven second riddles, why you do this to me? Trick question. You are exploring an ancient Mayan tomb that was hidden in the jungle for thousands of years. Oh, look, it's me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Suddenly the door behind you closes and you are trapped. Again with the animation. There are three ways in front of you. Ooh. The first is guarded by poisonous plants. The second leads to a very deep hole. The third is closed with an ancient iron door. Which way would you go? Uh, the door? Door. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be the door? The third one. If the tomb is thousands of years old, iron doors should have totally rusted in the wet climate of the jungle. Just give it a hard push. Oh, you're on a famous TV show for money. Your last task is to put your hand in one of three tanks. There's gold bars in each of them. And you're allowed to get them if you can. All right, what are they in? 
boiling water, ow, acid that will burn your flesh, double ow, venomous scorpions, triple ow, I get, uh, I, the water? <laughs> My brain just like malfunctioned during that. Oh, there we go. just wait until the water cools off. Wow. I didn't even think of that. I was like, just do it real quick. Third degree burns, it's fine. At least like with the acid, your flesh won't be melting off. It'll just be a little burnt for a couple days. That would be me instead of the smart person that would wait until it cools off and then get it. Tom got lost in the dungeon. Finally, he came across four doors leading outside. But each path is very dangerous. A raging fire. What is it with raging fires on other side of doors? Venomous snakes. Oh, it's cute. Hungry man eating sharks. Are the sharks in water? A giant wolf. Are the sharks in water? I'm gonna go with sharks because I'm pretty sure the sharks aren't in water. I don't see any water. It didn't specify they were in water. I think it's a trick question. We gon' go with the water. Or the sharks with no water. There's no water in the tunnels. The sharks must be dead. Perfect. You were kidnapped by a maniac and locked in a cabin in the woods. When he was away, you managed to escape. You're in a winter forest covered with snow. Oh no. It's freezing and you don't have any warm clothes. Luckily, you found four items in the snow. Wow, that is lucky. Which one can help you survive? A piece of copper wire, rubber gloves, a plastic trash bag, a fur hat. Why wouldn't I just take all of them? I'm trying to think outside the box now because the hat would only keep your head warm. Rubber gloves, I don't, I don't know how that would do in the cold. A plastic trash bag, I don't think that would really, ooh, the plastic trash bag might be good because it won't, you won't get wet and thus colder. Or a piece of copper wire could be good if you could start fire. I'm gonna go with the copper wire for some reason. Because <laughs> I feel like you can heat it, right? And keep it heated. Oh, darn it. Trash bag? Ooh, ooh. Get into it to hide from the snowstorm and stay warm. Does that actually work though? A scientist was exploring an ice cave in Antarctica when an avalanche fell. Oh no. And closed the way he came from. He found four other tunnels. All of them are deadly, but one. This way is full of bear traps. Dangerous whales. That whale does look very dangerous. Poison is underground gases, an abyss with an icy lake at the bottom. Oh, okay. The dangerous whales is my favorite one ever. The bear trap. We'll go the bear trap way because you could just like stick something in the bear trap to make them shut and then just walk through. Wait, what? Whales don't attack human? Wait, wait, wait. You just told me that they were dangerous whales. Now you're saying they're not dangerous whales? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you lied to me, Seven Saga Reddles. John decided to escape from prison. He packed his stuff and some food. Oh, bread, perf. Nice choice, John. <laughs> and got out of his cell at night. John walked down the yard and found three doors leading outside. John must choose one of them. Of course. Armed guards. Dangerous prisoners. I mean, but are they dangerous? Because you told me that whales were dangerous last time and they were not. Angry dogs. Mmm. Oh, puppy. Which door should John choose? Well, he does have bread. So I'm assuming that's for the dogs. And he can just throw the bread. The dog will go after the bread and then he can escape. Oh, there it is. John has some food. So he can distract the dogs and Lauren if she's out there. <laughs> You're being chased by werewolves. Whoa. You see a house and hide there. Oh no. They can't come in and stay waiting for you outside. There are three tunnels leading out of the house. The heck? However, there is a trap in each tunnel. Raging fire. Oh, always with the raging fire. The walls will crush you. The floor will collapse under your feet. It's always the raging fire. Um, definitely not the first two. So I'm gonna go with the last one. Cause at least you can like hop across it as it's falling apart really quick. Oh God, it's a trick. It's a trick one, isn't it? Wait until the werewolves turn into humans in the morning. It was a trick one. You woke up in the middle of the desert. Fortunately, you saw a magic lamp by your side. It's like, whoa, that party was crazy last night. I don't remember how I got out of here. You rubbed it and a genie came out. I'm old and can't grant any wishes. Oh, great. But you can choose one of these magic artifacts. Wow, thanks, Genie. The magic bag that can always give you food and drink. The seven leagues boots. 
What does that even mean? Cerebro, that will let you penetrate. Oh, into the mind of any person. Oh, I got a little scared there, Zephatag and Riddles. Thank you for finishing that sentence. Okay, for example, a search team. Hmm. Okay, well the boots, I have I have no freaking idea what that is. What a, what is seven league boots? Like you could just walk forever? There's nothing those boots could do that I would want them. So just no. I think. I would go with the food and drink one. It would help me get out of the desert alive, hopefully, as long as I don't die from heat exhaustion, I guess. Well, I could just keep throwing water on me. But when I'm out of the desert and back to real life, I feel like the unlimited food and drink would benefit me a lot more than like getting into somebody's brain. Like at least I would save so much money and time if I could just like pick up meals and drinks out of my bag. Going with the bag. Always thinking about the food. You don't know how far you are from the nearest town. Yep, even if you walk fast, you can die of thirst. Even if you reach the search team, how would you explain where you are? Oh my goodness. Choose the bag and get ready to walk a lot. <laughs> Yay. You are trapped in a room that is about to explode. There are six doors, but only two of them are safe. A pool filled with piranhas. Who keeps designing these houses? A mad psycho waiting to kill you. Oh my goodness. High voltage wires hanging above a wet floor. Who designed these rooms? A room with a raging fire! Yes, always with the raging fire. A lion and a wolf that haven't been fed for a day. Oh, just one, just one day? Tenth floor room with only one window. Which would you choose? I feel like I should go with the lion and wolf room because maybe they're fighting because, you know, they haven't eaten. So they're getting angry and they're just fighting one another. I'm gonna go with that one. Rooms three and five are safe. What? Since wires don't touch the water, it is safe uh, for you to can crawl beneath them. <laughs> a lion is stronger and faster than a wolf. So he will eat him and no longer be hungry. What would you choose? Uh... <laughs> I feel like, is this gonna go to comments? I feel like because the raging fire was such an important part of today's episode, I'm just gonna choose the raging fire. I don't think it's the right answer, but you know, I gotta pay tribute to the raging fire. Everything is pointing toward me saying raging fire at some point. Finally, more chances to survive. Ah, oh, I lost. <laughs> Darn, seven second riddles. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for my own special seven second riddles video. Seriously, thank you so much to seven second riddles for shouting me out in a video. As always, their link will be in the description below or click the little eye icon in the top corner of the video or the end slate at the end or just search for them. They're everywhere. But as always guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. Check out the description below. There's lots of awesome links down there, including some new merch, my spot, Spotify playlist that helps the channel out if you listen for free. Info on how to become a channel member. Speaking of which, our Z Cider Senpai of the day is Reed Pale. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the support this month. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.